your productivity is everything. If you have shit productivity, you're going to result in having weak performance in every other area of your life. The first thing when it comes to productivity is your diet, what you are consuming in your body. A lot of people overlook this, but your diet is so important for your productivity. The reason why is because what you eat, whatever you consume affects how you think. That's as, that's as simple as you can put it. If you eat a chocolate bar in the morning, that sugar, the carbs is going to cause brain fog. You're not going to think clearly your insulin will spike. You're not want you're not going to want to do anything. It's not because this is there's nothing external happening here. It's just the chemical reaction from that chocolate bar is affecting your mind. Fast in the morning. You want to fast as long as you can. You want to fast until after past the afternoon. Preferably around two to three, you can break your fast. The key benefits of fasting is that it's going to allow you to focus on your main tasks. It's going to allow you to focus on your work. So whatever you need to get done, you'll be able to focus specifically on that. You're not going to have the distractions of going to get food. Getting food takes like 30 minutes to an hour that you just wasted in your morning. You're going to get up. You're going to get your mind right. And you're going to get to working. Get straight to getting the main thing that you have to accomplish, your 20% item that's going to drive 80% of your results, get straight to that. Get straight to your big item and knock that shit out as soon as you can. Knock that out in the first two hours of you waking up. When you break your fast, you want to break your fast with proteins and fats. Meaning, protein, meat. Anything that has protein would be eggs, chicken, beef, a protein shake. What else do we have here? Fish. You can break it with anything like that. You want to stay at a range around like 500 to 700 calories for your first meal. You don't want to eat too much and you don't want to eat a very low amount where you don't feel full or satiated. You want to feel full so you can keep performing and you want to use that first meal to power your workout that's going to happen in the evening. So you want to stay to around 700 calories. Let's go ahead and pull this up. Let's pull up the whiteboard. The first thing here is fast until after noon. Number two, the diet part. Break fast with protein and fats. Protein and fats, we talked about that. Protein would be your protein would be meat. Fats, on the other hand, would be avocado. Avocado is probably my favorite one. Eggs, cheese. The reason why we want to break with protein and fats is because this does not spike your insulin. So you're not going to have that, that, that spike of insulin that oftentimes make you crash right after. Like when you eat bread or something that's very high on carbs. So then the goal is to fast, break fast, break fast until around the 1 p.m. And number five drink water coffee sparkling water so <clears throat> knock out your big test that's number two don't break your fast until 1 to 2 p.m and then after that one way to blunt your appetite so you can focus on what you need to get done is to drink black coffee right now i'm drinking some delicious black coffee here in colombia like man colombians have the best coffee and I just fucking love coffee, but you want to drink black coffee and you want to drink water. And you also, if you, if you start getting really hungry, it, it blunts your appetite. So you that fast.
but this is the first step, gentlemen. This is the first step to productivity. It's what you're consuming. You need to, you're going to see, man, like dieting is so powerful, not just for your productivity, but it's so powerful also for your body. Like it's so powerful, it's so powerful by the way you, you're going to function and by the way you're going to perform when it's time to work out later in the evening, because if you're fasting in the morning, you get that meal, that's going to be your fuel for the rest of the afternoon. And then you get to your workout, your workout is going to be fucking amazing because now you have the fuel for that workout. I know there's a lot of people that have like their th theories about acid and, and doing all these different things and like clearly fine. I don't think there's nothing wrong with working out in the morning and, you know, kind of work, making your schedule work. But I know for a fact that this is a great, this is a great regimen because you're getting all your work done in the morning. You're pushing that needle forward. You're getting the nutrients and the energy that you need for a great workout in the evening. And then after that, your, your, your body's ready to rest and recover. So this, this is just fasting just sets you up for success. It, it sets you up for success with your body, with your workouts, with your productivity. One more thing that I almost forgot here is your macro split, macro split. So a great macro split is 40% carbs, 30% protein and 30 percent fat if you don't know what this means all it is is that you're getting 40 percent of what you're consuming on that day from carbs you're getting 30 percent of what you're consuming that day on protein and the last 30 percent is fat carbs you want to get it from complex carbs I would recommend to stay away from bread, stay away from grains like rice and all this other shit. I like, bro, like I have a lot of bodybuilder friends that are massive and they, they have a lot of muscle mass and they're strong as fuck. And they love to, they love to eat rice. They love to eat these, um, like these grains for their carbs. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that when it comes to productivity, I, my argument is to stay away from these type of foods because they spike your insulin like a motherfucker. They, they make you, they make you groggy. They make, they kind of like, they're great for the muscle to give you that pump, that glycogen. But for productivity, I, I just, in my experience, I'm interested to see what you guys think, drop it down in the comments. But in my experience, eating these type of foods, just, you know, they get, they cause brain fog. And I don't think that's clearly as I do when I eat whole foods, complex carbohydrates that come from vegetables and that come from fruits. I, just, I don't think it compares. I don't think it compares. My favorite carbs are sweet potatoes, potatoes, red potatoes, bananas, you know, apples. Like this is my, this is my go-to, man. I love these type of foods. These foods make me perform at my highest level. They don't give me that brain fog. I'm very productive as soon as I finish eating them. And they also give me that, that great pump of glycogen for the gym. So that's where I stick to when it comes to carbs. Another big point here is to stick to whole foods. You want to stay away from anything that's in a wrapper, anything that has ingredients on the back. Fuck all that. You want to eat whole foods, like we mentioned. Fruits, vegetables, meat, anything that's whole. Like it doesn't have like a, like these external ingredients Next thing with the proteins, like we said, meat, chicken, beef, fish, fats, avocados, cheese, cottage cheese. I'm getting kind of hungry thinking about it, but what else? Uh, eggs. These are all great sources of fat. Olive oil, extra virgin also works when you're cooking your food. These are great sources of food. Like this is a complete game changer. If you start eating in this type of diet, this is just a great framework or what type of foods to stick to and how much to consume for each of these different macros. Don't be that scrub that is golfing down McDonald's and he's eating all this garbage processed food in the morning. He has weak energy. He's lethargic. He doesn't get anything done. Fast forward a week, a month, three months later, he's fat. He's overweight. He's not accomplishing his goals. You don't want to be that scrub. And it all starts from your diet. Like it's just as simple as that, your diet. If you master this, it's going to completely change every other area of your life. You're going to get in shape. You're going to look more attractive with women. You're going to have better workouts. 
You're going to have better sleep because your workouts are going to be highly effective and you're going to get a lot more work done. You're going to be more productive, meaning that you're going to make more money. You're going to be generating more cash, which is going to feel good. You're going to be able to invest more into yourself, to your clothing, your knowledge, your education, and you're just going to keep maximizing yourself all because of your diet and your fasting. Just think about that. That root cause there in the base. If you change this, it's going to change everything else. To help out the rest of the guys on this channel, drop down what are your favorite carbs, what are your favorite proteins, and what are your favorite fats. Also, your macro split. Drop it down in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, give us a like. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay strong, stay relentless, and keep on conquering. Peace.